Hello, in this video I'll show you how to assign AutoCAD commands to Stream Deck buttons. This is a very easy and short process and let's start. First let me explain what I'm doing in this script. It's a command that's called E55 but this is a sub number and I really I am accustomed to the name E5 so what I'm going to do is first go back to the my AutoCAD profile, which is quite new. So I'm dragging a multi-action button and I'll give it a name, give it an E5. So here in this multi-actions uh, list or the place where the list can be assigned, I drag a text action and the name will be E55 because it's the sub command. But what happens in reality is that this text which I place here in this command, it's E55, will be pasted to the command line. Because once I'm in AutoCAD, the cursor, as long as I'm not in the drawing area, will paste the text here. And as we all know, after paste, typing a command here, we need to press enter. So make sure to check this box, press enter after message. So uh, basically, if I go now to AutoCAD and I press the E5 on my Stream Deck, those two circles, which are blue, will be deleted uh, and the other objects which are not assigned uh, blue will be uh, kept intact. So let's press the E5 and as you can see, they were deleted. Now if I press it again, it will tell me that there are no objects with color 5 uh, left in the scene. So this is a script I use for my own purposes when I want to draw temporary lines and objects. I just give them uh, the color 5 and then I, by pressing the button, I just delete them because I don't need them anymore. So you can assign any command and uh, let's do another one multi-action and let's uh, let's uh, see um, give it a name erase and we'll erase everything but oh, erase all so this is the, the name of, that will appear on the button and let's just uh, say select the color magenta just to, uh, I can obviously resize the text and I'm going to uh, text I'm going to type erase but I will type uh, underscore because uh, as we all know underscore ignores the local language of AutoCAD and will force AutoCAD to read the command in English and I'm going to press and now I'm going to add another one and uh, press. And this will be all. And it, I'm, I, I will type only all and press the button. So since the scene has lots of objects, let's make sure that it does it. Now, what I need to do again is another enter. So let's cancel, and I will uh, press the enter, and let's see if I'm correct. Yeah, you can see that the button just uh, deleted everything I've seen, and uh, this is a very uh, easy process. So uh, if you don't know how to write scripts in AutoCAD, you may use multi-action and to create your own scripts. Uh, so that's uh, my tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I did. And uh, bye till the next time.